have to thank CTOS one day. Simple breach of their facial recognition software, and I've got access to everyone's personal details. No. Okay. 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 No, hang on, hang on. should be in. This guy's really close now. What? Oh, come on, no way. Get out of here. She must be the woman he's after. <laughs> this guy's close. I can feel it. We need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. We're done. Deal with There's it. What's the fucking wrong? I'm. <gasps> Damn, he spotted me. I can't exactly take him down over a threatening text. Now he'll wait to attack another day. I gotta be more careful next time. Nikki, hey, I know, I know, the party started. It's almost over. Where are you? I'm on my way. Ugh, you make me crazy. Jackson's really looking forward to it. Get over here. We miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there. Sorry, Nick, I need to take this off. I'll see you soon. Good. You got out. Look, if you need some wheels, give me a call. I'll, I'll set you up. Pre-owned cars? You'd rather register yourself at a car dealer? I don't ask questions. This guy gets any ride I want, and you if you need it. I just might. How's Maurice doing? Oh, he's all sunshine and buttercups. I'm gonna dump him at my little dumping place. I need him alive, Jordy. Yeah, yeah, alive. Whatever. Goes against your better nature, huh? I'd pop him and be done, but hey, you pay me right, I'll keep him alive as long as you want. I do work for a paycheck. I haven't been in Nikki since the funeral. Am I ready? Jack's last birthday, Lena sang off key. Happy birthday. Full throttle, no holes barred. Now, I'm afraid of the silence. Nine. 
ten. Nine. Ten. Nine. <laughs> ten. Well, in that case, uh, you deserve ten birthday tickles. What? One, two, three, four, oh. five, six, oh. seven, eight, oh. nine, ten. <laughs> ten. 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 Stay here for a second. So, an entire year and... and... Yeah, late. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nate. Really. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You look older. Oh, nice. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his first birthday without Lena. How's he doing? Still doesn't talk to anybody but me. Yolanda says it's his way of maintaining some sort of control. Yolanda? His therapist. She's helping him. It's good. Just slow. It's hard, but we're gonna get through it. Mm -hmm. Jax. Hey. Sorry, I'm late. Can I, uh, do I get a hug? Wow. You are big. <laughs> so, hey, what, what do you got there? Wow, the healer. Cool. You bought him a real toy, huh? <laughs> Why don't you bring up your toys? I'm gonna speak with your uncle. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be up there in a sec. This matters, you being here. I just need to make sure that things are different. Things are different. You and Jax are the most important people in my life. I'm not gonna stop watching out for you. <laughs> Always the big brother, huh? <laughs> Last time I was back here, it was Lena's birthday. Jackson adored her. We all did. You missed all the fun. The kids were playing vigilante, imitating that guy they keep talking about on TV. Let me guess. Jax was the vigilante. No, they were all the vigilantes, and I was the only villain, but I make a mean bad guy. <laughs> I gave him hell. I should have come earlier. I could have warned them. Don't mess with my sister. Remember when you and Mom were both sick as dogs, but Dad insisted his boy was going to have his birthday cake? That thing was an abomination. I was burnt and lopsided. That was Dad in a nutshell. He did a lot of ugly things, but it was always about family. Listen to me, I'm rambling. Oh, really? No, 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 don't let me interrupt you. Listen. The police can trace this call. Oh, nice. Nice. I know where you live. How are the locks on those doors? Who is this? Why are you calling? Do you feel safe, Nikki? Who was that? Doesn't matter. Just some stupid crank. It happens. Do you think this is strong enough? Look, did you know his voice? Oh, Jesus, Aiden, just leave it. It's fine. It's fine. He thinks he can get inside. How do you know what he thinks? You're checking the locks. Look, I can handle this on my own. We do not need your help. Nikki, I can find this guy. Hey, look, Aiden. God, you have not changed at all. We do not need your help. Please stop trying to fix our problems. Every time you try, you just make things worse. I better go. Yeah, I think that's a good idea.
grown man making crank calls. See how safe you feel when I trace your call. There you are. Damn it. He's on the move. I've been afraid of this. Threats to my family. Again. Still trying. They're kicking you out. Give me time. Okay. Well, I need your help then. Can you trace a phone call? How can I repeat my best plan? Wait. What am I looking at here? It's from a guy who threatened my family. I want to know who hired him. Well, the call came from somewhere in the loop district. But that's as far as I can see. Okay. I can hack CTOS inside the loop. Then I should be able to pinpoint the source of that call. Let's do that. 
Bloom's building a new CTOS center in the loop. It's perfect. DedSec tried to attack that center last month. We failed, and they just added more armed guards. So it won't be easy. Be careful. You sound like my sister. Relax. Make sure I'm armed and dangerous. <laughs> private contractors to guard their CTOS centers. These guys will be geared up and wired for action. But I'll be ready. How's it going? Thanks so much, now. Over the past few weeks, CTOS centers throughout Chicago have increased security due to several attacks from activist hacker group DedSec. When asked about security changes, Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner was decisive. Chicago's safety is paramount. CTOS control center. These highly skilled peacekeepers have trained in the most dangerous regions of the world. In fact, Ms. Gardner, these peacekeepers you refer to are military mercenaries, many with criminal records. Isn't that true? Indeed, they've served time in the military, but we should hardly reject our brave soldiers for proudly serving their country, should we? Our CTOS network is well protected, and that gives Chicago citizens the comfort they deserve. That was Bloom spokeswoman Charlotte Gardner discussing CTOS security. This new security is no joke. I need access. How to find out who's targeting my family. I want that voice behind the phone call.
Looks like nothing to worry about. CTOS already? I'm looking at the network as we speak. You got your access, and I've got mine. Profiler systems online. Everybody's nasty little secrets at the click of a button. This thing's highlighting all kinds of stuff in the district. I can take advantage of some of this. Keep an eye out for online traffic. Could be fixers in the network. If I can see them, they can see me. All right, I gotta move. I mean, a lot of noise here. Give me time to track your caller. I'll be in touch. <laughs> <laughs> 